Welcome to PC Woods Kits Tech Talk. Today we're looking at a triple channel kit of DDR memory from Kingston. This one here is the HyperX T1 memory. So this is uh, obviously performance memory with XMP profiles. XMP stands for Extreme Memory Profiles pre-built and tested. It also comes with the HyperX fans which is going to cool it off so it's all in one. And um, here are the specs for those fans in case you're uh, wondering about that. They're blue LED fans, so very nice. In the box, you're going to get the manual, of course, the three 2 gigabyte modules for a total of six gigabytes, and the clips that will attach themselves to that fan casing. And that fan casing then goes on the sides of this HyperX memory. Now, this is a classic style with the heat spreaders, the aluminum uh, heat spreaders, as you can see at the top here. So that's a pretty effective design, allows airflow to go through it easily, very thin, Okay, so it doesn't interfere with uh, other memory and, of course, um, the airflow going in between the memory modules. And uh, this is uh, 1.65 volts, which is uh, recommended by Intel, so we don't want to really exceed that voltage because of the uh, memory controllers and the way things are set up. And uh, also, another thing to point out here is that the uh, fan, the blue LED fans that uh, come in here, really complement the whole design because it's all blue right and I'll, I'll show you more in detail how to install it and how it looks there's the uh, pins the uh, connector there for the uh, LED for the fans okay three pin connector and uh, installing the uh, clips on either side is straightforward nothing fancy uh, you just got some screws that you need to attach on those holes there on either corner and um, you just get the clip and make sure you put the clip underneath not on top okay so don't put it on top like that it goes underneath instead and then you just attach the uh, the screws onto it so let me just quickly show you here just put them underneath there and then you get the thumb screws that it comes with just attach it in there and do do that to the four uh, sides of course of the four corners and then you're all set now you can just um, plug in the um, power connector there onto the board and then clip this on to the dim slots okay so on either side of your dim slot it would clip on so there are the memory modules without the fan and you, you see it doesn't uh, really uh, conflict or touch the um, Cooler Master V6 um, fan and then I just clipped on the HyperX fan and uh, we got a nice cool blue theme going on there now uh, going through the BIOS setup Okay, so when you boot up your machine and you press F1 or press delete to go into the BIOS setup, I went into the AI tweaker because I'm using an Asus motherboard and under there, there's an XMP profile setting already, so it detected the type of memory and I can click on profile 1 and choose that or profile 2. If I choose profile 2, it goes to 1866 MHz at uh, certain latencies, 9, 10, 9, 27. And then I can adjust my CPU ratio back and my um, frequency, the bus frequency, so I can keep this uh, CPU overclocked to uh, 4 gigahertz. Here are all the DRAM uh, frequencies, of course, and you can play around with those because if you're changing the latencies, then you want to change the frequency as well to come to a stable uh, amount. But if you don't want to overclock it, then you just choose the defaults. Here I'm overclocking it and I'm changing the latencies. I'm changing it from the default 9.10.9 to 8.8.8.24. Okay, and if you're not sure what to put in there, well, you can always choose the auto settings. So uh, the auto settings just automatically chooses the right value that is stable. Okay, and then you can run some benchmarks and test it out. So let's do that. Okay, so here we are in uh, Windows 7. CPU Z is reporting, of course, I'm running the XMP profile at 1000. That's 2000. Uh, megahertz effectively at 9.10.9.27 so that's the default profile that uh, this Kingston memory supports for this Intel um, board and setup so there's the XMP profile for 2000 um, megahertz so I've just set it up in the BIOS let it be and then um, of course it's running at 1.65 volts like I mentioned and there's my CPU settings for this Intel uh, Core i7 Extreme 980X running at 4 gigahertz so we're trying to come to a happy medium, right? We're trying to set things up on this board, keep the CPU overclocked while having the maximum amount of uh, frequency 
and uh, getting the most we can out of the read, write, and copy results. So latency is not bad, 50 nanoseconds there at those settings. You can see the read, write, and copy results in Everest that I'm showing you here. If we compare those read, write, and copy results at different latencies, at different frequencies that I've gone back and forth and changed, you can see how things are improving and going down, depending on what you choose and what settings you choose in the BIOS or uh, which profile you use, which XMP profile you use, you will get either a faster latency and you'll get less frequency. And depending on which one you choose, you can see the results in Everest here and I've compared them to some dual channel memory as well to give you an idea. Now, um, PC Mark Vantage 64-bit, same thing. I ran the memory suite scores and there you can see the results that I got with the default XMP profile compared to uh, an OCZ profile. I also compared it in the Super Pi uh, calculation. So this calculates Pi to 1 uh, million decimals, for example. 10.35 seconds at the default XMP profile CL9. If I change it to CL8, okay, so we're overclocking it a little bit, 9.99 seconds, so it's faster at CL8. Um, so we're trying to come to a happy medium here, trying to overclock things, very stable. I like this memory. I've reviewed the uh, dual channel and it works just as good, um, even better actually, because the overclocking and the XMP profile really does help. So uh, definitely recommend this if you're looking for triple channel memory and I'd like to thank Kingston for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.